this is the Galaxy S10 Plus. Now, you've all probably heard of this phone, but in this video, I'm going to go over some aspects about it that I really do like. To start, what really struck me at first when using this phone was how light it was. Even though this phone is what I like to call a glass and aluminum sandwich, it's shockingly sleek and thin, making the result feel very polished. I haven't really encountered a phone as light as this one, and with all the serious specs Samsung has in this package, it feels like a step in the right direction. Another part of this phone I really like is the earpiece placement and implication. On this phone, the earpiece is located between the tiny top bezel and the aluminum housing, and this almost makes it disappear into the chassis. Samsung has managed to make it very inconspicuous without sacrificing speaker fidelity. When compared to the Galaxy Note 9, the S10 speakers are louder and slightly punchier. I'm really glad Samsung didn't have to sacrifice speaker quality for this design. In relation to sound, a really underrated feature of this phone is the headphone jack. I know that this strange port is going to disappear soon, but for now, I'm truly embracing it, at least until I get the Galaxy Buds. In the packaging, Samsung includes a pretty decent pair of AKG tuned earbuds that I find very convenient, especially on my morning commutes to school. The size of this phone are also very nice in my opinion. This year, Samsung has stepped away from having matte aluminum sides to having glossy, stainless steel-esque sides. This adds a bit more grip and makes the phone slightly more premium. You may like the matte texture better, it's just my opinion. Also, I have the Prism Black variant of the S10, and the sides are actually a silver color. And on the Prism White version, the sides are also silver. Just as a note, Prism Black is not a true black color, but instead more of a dark gray. If you had a black Galaxy device and are switching to this one, the color is a bit different. The biggest thing I like about this phone is the beautiful screen. This panel is absolutely stunning with the resolution of 3040 by 1440. This phone boasts the same as Samsung color profile as years past, but it's not enabled from the start. It seems like Samsung has toned the colors back initially, but a quick stop into the display settings allows you to change it back to the classic look. I'm not gonna go too in depth with the screen, I'm gonna save that for my full review, but please take my word for it, after you use this screen, you'll never want to go back. This phone is just asking to be cased. And my recommendation is this Beacon Neo Hybrid. This is a $16 two-part design case, and it protects the phone without adding too much heft. It's made out of rubber and plastic, and it is definitely very grippy. But yeah, I've had this phone for about a week or so, and so far, if you can't tell, I'm really enjoying it. Thanks for watching this short video. Please subscribe and stay tuned for the full review. Bye.